Last time on the American Crappie Trail, anglers worked against the effects of a 20 degree change in temperature, making it tough to find that big Truman bite. Contrary to estimates, it was the single pole teams that brought in the biggest bags of the day, leaving the multi-pole anglers back in the field. Barry Morrow and Chad Maupin in third, Marty Snyder and Jackie Alban in second, and from Lake of the Ozarks, it was the team of Daniel Pemberton and Justin Newman who brought in the bag of the day at 10.75 pounds. Who will claim victory on championship Saturday? Will the single pole anglers maintain control of the field? Find out now as Mid-State Seed presents the American Crappie Trail here on Truman Lake, Missouri. Uh, we're sitting in 16th right now. We're going to have to grind it out today. Caught a lot of fish yesterday, just struggled getting the right ones. Hopefully, hopefully the right ones will bite today. We had a pretty good day yesterday, finished in the top 10. We've got plenty of fish left, I believe. The hard part is going to be getting into where we're fishing. The water's real low. We're sitting in seventh place right now, and we're actually sharing a bunch of fish with a bunch of different people. And uh, it's going to be tough. Um, there's a lot of pressure, but we're going to go out and grind it out, you know, with the best of them and see what happens. So it would be, be great to have a, you know, back-to-back, -back, you know, years. We won it last year, so it would be great to win it again this year. But it's we're setting, we're setting good right now. We'll, we'll see what today brings, though. We're just going to go out there and do what we done yesterday and hopefully the bite's still there. Grind it out, it's, it's been tough. We just caught probably 15 fish yesterday and hopefully they're there today. On the water, the team of Pemberton and Newman are already making a spot change as they are finding a very sleepy bite this morning. The only plus is that the fish they do entice to bite are keepers. These seasoned tournament anglers are doing their best to make sure to put the net on every possible keeper so they don't risk losing the fish by swinging it in. First crappie of the day. Slow bite, pound 36. Good one? Yeah. Oh, good fish. Broke my line, too. That's what we're looking for, I right think. Still got the hook in his mouth. Look at that. Broke my line. That's what we need right there. I think they've uh, taken their nap. They went. Yeah. <clears throat> Maybe not. That fish right there just barely, I mean, I, I picked it up and he was kind of on there. There was no thump to it. Yet, yesterday afternoon, it was a, it was a bang, but. Good call. Yeah, it's a pretty good call. Can't win it on the first day, but you can lose it on the first day. We didn't have a fish yesterday for the first hour and a half, so we were getting a little nervous. I'd say we've got seven and a half, eight pounds, and we're, I think we've got a 135, and then some like 116s, 112s. So we definitely need some upgrades. We started out here this morning because yesterday we switched arms and we knew that there was pound fish on the other arm, but we needed make or break. There's the best in the nation here, so we're going for the win. So we decided to switch arms. We did pretty good here pre-fishing. Ended up working perfect because the wind's blowing over this flat and it's rolling right over this channel and blowing all the bait fish in here. So when you get on that graph and you see all the bait fish, those crappie be right behind them every time. Little bug, you got him. Ooh, that's your pole, that's all right. Get that little bit down. Yeah, 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 yeah. Come out here. Ooh. 
Hey, we take that right there, folks. That's gonna get us started right here. We can take this other one right here. That's what we're looking for. A little bit better, a little bit better. We're trying to get dialed in on these on these things, man. Shallow or deep? How are they gonna catch them? Find out next here at the ACT. Lucas Oil Synthetic Blend 2-Cycle Outboard Engine Oil will not only produce a level of confidence with each trip to the lake, but also provide trust backed by rigorous testing on the track as well as on the water. Lucas Synthetic Blend 2-Cycle Oil has an extensive additive package that will provide clean burning, smooth running, and maximum performance stability to any outboard on the market today. Lucas Synthetic Blend 2-Cycle Oil will not void your manufacturer's warranty. Protect your investment with Lucas Marine Products. Lucas Oil, it works. More than a century ago, General Tire was born, right here in America. Since then, we've made a name for ourselves by making tires you can depend on. Tires built to handle any road this country can throw at them, and relied on by every kind of driver. So you know that no matter where life takes you, with General Tire, anywhere is possible. Clean up your toughest messes super easy, super fast. Only Super Clean is formulated to do the work for you. Just spray it on and watch the grease and grime wash away. Super Clean is the only cleaner degreaser that is scientifically formulated to kick any mess to the curb. So you can move on to more important things. For all of your greasiest, grimiest, toughest tasks around the house, shop, or garage, Super Clean gets the job done. Super Clean, super easy, super fast. BNM Poles. The number one crappie pole company in the world. Whether you are jigging, trolling, pulling, or pushing, BNM has your pole. Third generation family company with over seven years' experience. Home to the Bucks Graphite Jig Pole. The first and best selling graphite jig pole in the U.S. for over 35 years. Visit BNMPoles.com for yours today. Here at Frontier Metal, keeping our customers satisfied is our number one goal and quality is a must. Our managers and founders have more than 25 successful years working in the metal roll forming and building materials industry. We offer a large variety of wood in our lumber yard as well as the highest quality premium metals made in the United States. Whether you're just looking for an extra sheet of plywood or a truckload of metal for your next project, you'll always talk to a crappie fisherman here at Frontier Metal. This episode of American Crappie Trail is brought to you by Lucas Oil Marine Products. Made in America, sold to the world. General Tire, anywhere is possible. Ranger Boats, driven to dominate. Evinrude, the official engine of the American Crappie Trail. Mid-State Seed, firmly planted in partnership. And these other fine sponsors. Welcome back to the American Crappie Trail. As anglers are feeling the pressure of chasing fish with lockjaw, the team of Rogers and Rogers are staying true to their game plan and moving quickly from spot to spot. We are finding these fish. I mean, people say they're in schools. They are definitely in schools. They're in areas. They're in certain areas. And it'll be 30 feet, 30 yards, and then you'll go the next 30 yards and not catch any. So they're, it, it's bizarre right now and you just gotta find those spots. And then when you find one, it's gotta be hot. I mean, they gotta be biting. My father and I, Kevin and Charlie Rogers, we were known for one pole jig fishing. This is our passion, this is what we love to do. Of course, you can't do it in every tournament. And we learned that because of this lake right here that we're on, Truman Lake, because of all the natural cover and all the trees that are in the lake, you could come out here. We've won over 20 tournaments on this lake fishing just the visible timber that everyone can see. And through the years, crappie fishermen and crappie fishing has evolved, 
and people started putting in steak beds and, and plastic attractors and the fish are actually starting to relate off of the timber and starting to lock on that stuff. And I'd say the, the last 10 major tournaments that have been won on Truman Lake have been a combination of both to where 20 years ago, they were all won right on the timber and we could run and gun and, and catch the fish right on the timber. Nowadays, you gotta have a little bit of both. You gotta have some stake beds that you can catch fish in along with some, some good timber bite. So it's a little bit of both now. The team of Campbell and Propst have a couple fish in the boat. Occasionally, hoisting a fish into the boat can end in disaster. It is almost always a best practice to use the net on keepers. Having a fish come unbuttoned and bounce out of the boat can cost a team a chance at a payday. I hope so. Our scale's a little light, I hope. Well, yeah, we're uh, to update you. We're the second day here at Truman Lake. Beautiful morning. Looks like some showers coming as we got a cloudy day, a little bit different than yesterday with the sun, but um, these fish acting exactly like it did yesterday. They're very hard to catch. Um, we're just basically spoon feeding them fish in ultra shallow. We've lost some, we've lost some fish because of some bro broken line. And uh, there's nothing we can do about that. I mean, we're, we're catching catfish and fraying it and this and that. So you can just retie and hope you don't do it. But on a short string like this, you're gonna break some line. Anyway, we had a great morning. We got three nice fish in the boat. Now you just seen us catch one of the better fish uh, of the morning for sure. Yesterday we only had six fish. We, we was we were shy of one fish on the low end, so maybe we'll get seven today. We got we got a great start, three already, and I can I can verify they are bigger than what we caught yesterday. The Lucas Oil Outdoor Line team of Tommy Moss and Brad Calhoun are tucked back in a creek, looking for that big bite. Sitting in 21st after day one. They're going to need to find several bigger fish today to land a spot in the top 10. Oh, it's hit and miss. Um, we started where we fished yesterday, um, caught a couple of decent fish, and then uh, just nothing. I think we picked them off pretty good yesterday. And the ones we did catch were small ones. And then uh, we jumped up here, and as soon as as soon as we started, we caught uh, four or five tournament fish real fast and clouded up and rained is the only thing that's changed. Uh, some was out then, but uh, they just quit. So maybe they'll pick back up here in just a little bit. I know the sun come back out and get hot again because it seems like them fish are, you know, stick to them stumps. The hotter the better on Truman Lake. It seems to be the best. These locals have a big advantage because they got brush piled with this stuff in here and they know where every piece of it is and they run and gun it. Big bite has slowed up a little bit, but I believe we can grind them out and catch the rest of what we need. We're in 10th right now. Uh, we'd like to catch about 10 and a half. I believe we'll be safe for the top five. It'd mean a lot. Uh, we're from Mississippi, up here fishing in Missouri. It would just mean a lot to come up here and win one out of out of our home waters. One pole or multiple poles? How's it gonna be one? Find out next. Here with the ACT on Truman Lake. We put the Rockport Rattler to a real test. Two champion anglers using four rods with the competition jigs against four rods using the Rockport Rattler. The result, the Rockport Rattler outfished the competition 10 to 1. Rockport Rattler, gray head. His patented rattling jig contains a rattling chamber in the body of the jig. The rattle is amplified by using water as a conductor. Rockport Rattler. Making fish hear it at much greater distances. Just like a dinner bell for fish. Look, if you don't have a Rockport Rattler, you ain't catching crappy. Land, water, seed, and sunshine. It's what farmers need to make things grow. At Mid-State Seed, 
We take pride in our partners and grow friendships too, providing quality seed farmers can count on. From quality control to packaging and shipping, Mid-State Seed works hard to distribute affordable product from America's heartland. Mid-State Seed, firmly planted in partnership. Abernathy's Cycles, an authorized power sport dealership in Union City, Tennessee. The nation's largest Polaris ATV and UTV dealership. Unbelievable selection. New model ATVs, motorcycles, scooters. Experienced staff with over-the-top service repair and diagnostics to keep your vehicle running at top performance. 64 years of the best quality service and the best quality products. Abernathy Cycles, proud sponsor of the American Crappie Trail. Launching a Ranger aluminum boat that's cut full of holes may sound a little crazy, but with so much closed cell foam inside, it's easy to see the added safety and stability. It's a huge confidence booster, especially with so much quality inside, along with Evernew Detex, unrivaled performance, and 300 hours with no dealer scheduled maintenance. Ranger Aluminum is built to excel and priced to be yours. Power your Ranger with Evinrude E-Tech. Mission 22 is dedicated to unite the country in the war against veteran suicide. Bringing our veterans home is every American's job. Ambassadors are creating impact in their community across the country. Mission 22 has comprehensive treatment programs for post-traumatic stress and traumatic brain injury at no cost to veterans. This is an American issue. No matter where you stand, there's a place for your support. Visit mission22.com to learn more. For over 30 years, Lucas Oil has provided the very best products for the land and sea. From this success stems another amazing product from the Lucas Marine lineup, Lucas Slick Mist Marine Speed Wax. Just spray it on and wipe it off. Lucas Marine Speed Wax will make your boat look brand new and provide great UV protection. Apply Lucas Marine Slick Mist to wet and dry surfaces in sunlight or shade. It's ideal in both fresh and salt water application and prevents hard water deposits. Protect your investment with Lucas Marine products. Lucas Oil, it works. This episode of the American Crappie Trail is brought to you by B&M Fishing. Quality, performance, and service for over 70 years. Super clean, super easy, super fast, super clean. Angle Coolers, the original high-performance cooler. Power Pole, swift, silent, secure. And these other fine sponsors. Welcome back to the American Crappie Trail. Despite the trend, Terry and Cole Stewart are sticking with their multiple pole pattern, hoping that more baits means better chances at keepers. That's what's great about fishing the American Crappie Trail. You can uh, talk with these guys after the weigh-in and everything and ask them questions. And man, you, most of them will tell you kind of what happened and you can you, you just learn so much. Uh, like a man with Magnolia Crappie Club, David Thornton, said, man, if you want to learn about crappie, he said, you fish these crappie tournaments, you'll learn more about crappie fishing than you ever want to know. And hey, he, he, he's exactly right. Terry and Cole won the previous qualifier on Wachita River. They talk about the pressure you feel after winning an event. Guys like Kevin Kevin Van Dam and, and uh, man, they just, you, you, that pressure messes you up. It, it, it messes your head up, you, you got to, we're learning a lot on it, just trying to stay focused, do what you can, and, and stay positive. Stay positive. If you can do that, man, you'd be a lot better off. We're sitting at nine, three quarter, 10 pounds right now. We only fish for an hour and a half, so right, things are looking good. And when the bite's as tough as it has been, typically up here in this dirty water, we try to use the biggest baits. You know, these fish will eat four or five inch shad, I mean, they'll hammer it. They're not afraid of them. A lot of crappie guys are under the mindset that you gotta use a real small bait. Typically we don't, but when the bite's tough, you know, it's just kinda, the smaller the better. But the dilemma we face is, is you wanna use something small, but this water's so murky, it's hard for me anyways. I don't have the confidence that those fish are gonna see that small bait. So that's why we're tipping these jigs, you know? Just a little color, a little flash, a little bigger profile, bigger silhouette, and these fish can really key on it. And another thing about these fish is they'll bite in spurts, you know? I mean, they'll just, it'll be a frenzy. And the reason that the people dead stick their baits is because 
they know at some point there's big fish that live there and they're gonna bite. And they're gonna keep that bait in the water the whole time because when it turns on, there's you can be a, you can go from zero to hero in five minutes. And if your bait's not in the water and you're running five miles because you weren't getting bit in the previous, you know, previous ten minutes, you just lost out on that, you know. Come on. I talk him into that. Well, the plants come together, but the big fish aren't biting. So we had we struggled that yesterday up here. Nice upgrade. Sometimes this dirtier water, they don't like it as good. But we actually started better than we did yesterday. So. We started out where we had our best bite yesterday and uh, caught two small fish and stayed in there quite a while and just they just weren't there. Now, we're hoping this afternoon that they'll come back because that's we had a bite at about noon yesterday's when we caught those fish. So we're gonna we're gonna go up there here after a while and try it again and see if see if any of the big ones have moved back. So far, day hasn't gone real good. We've just scratched out seven fish and they're probably not not much over a pound. We probably got seven and a half to maybe eight pounds of fish. It would be nice if there wasn't people around, but we, we knew coming into this that there was gonna be several teams over here. Uh, we've seen them out here in practice, so uh, you really can't be surprised by any of that. You just gotta kinda block that out of your head and either think you're, you're using something different that's better or you're a better fisherman. I mean, that's, that's what it's all about. We're gonna try one more deep spot and then we're probably gonna go shallow. Well, our first place we went to yesterday didn't work out for us, so we come down here probably about 9, 10 o'clock, started catching decent fish. Then we, uh, the bite slowed down way off on us big time. We went from Bobby Garland white and chartreuse to uh, Bobby Garland two inch Minaminder. Uh, we've been fishing this whole area last two days back and forth yeah I mean sometimes you'll be all morning till noon or whatever then you know they might just turn on all at once you might have an hour of good fishing but sometimes they'll bite all day too yesterday was in here you know it was just constant caught a lot of fish probably uh, let's say we caught a hundred fish yesterday cold through them so yeah it was good we're just hoping it's gonna work today <laughs> time's running out on the angler Who's gonna catch that big fish? Find out next here at the American Crappie Trail. Many people look at a lake and feel a sense of calm serenity. Crappie fishermen feel the heart pounding anticipation of the thump. That's why host Russ Bailey is addicted to crappie fishing. It's this addiction that takes Russ from the Midwest to the deep south in search of the best lakes, techniques and patterns from some of the best crappie anglers in the country right here on Brush Bile Fishing. b and Poles. The number one crappie pole company in the world. Whether you are jigging, trolling, pulling, or pushing, b and has your pole. Third generation family company with over seven years experience. Home to the Bucks Graphite Jig Pole, the first and best-selling graphite jig pole in the U.S. for over 35 years. Visit bnmpoles.com for yours today. Welcome back to the American Crappie Trail. As time winds down on the anglers, we check in with the leaders one more time to see if they have what it takes to hold the lead. It started off pretty slow. We uh, we pulled in here and we've. Uh, we got seven fish in the live well. We got five over a pound so far. We need two more to replace the two smaller ones we got, but hopefully we pick up a couple more fish and we upgrade a little bit. Seem like they just, they want the bait just set there dead still in front of them. And it's, uh, it's a grind to sit there all day long and just hold it still like that, but it seems to be working for us. 
but these fish, I just think they're laying down there and they just, I don't know, they're, they're lethargic. They just, they're not wanting to, to, to feed real active for us. So that's why we're slowing down and just grinding it out. As regulation comes to an end, the competition here on Truman Lake has been fantastic. Will the four teams with over 10 pounds from day one be able to hold off the rest of the field? Let's go to Waymaster James Bryant for the exciting conclusion. Moss and Calhoun did make a strong charge, climbing from 21st to 13th. The bags continued to grow, but the team of Campbell and Stevens were not quite able to take the hot seat. Two-day total, 20.55, just a little bit short. Jeremy Campbell and Jordan Propst brought in a good-sized bag with some healthy crappie, showing what Truman Lake is all about. It's a good one, but it's not quite good enough. 184, but still, 19.29 for two-day total. The team of Gelati and Gelati took the hot seat with a great day two weight, but will it be enough to hold off Pemberton and Newman? Here we go, we're gonna find out who it is. 1075 the scale, guys, and... Pemberton and Newman take the win with a two day weight of 20.76 pounds, winning the brand new Ranger boat valued at over $25,000. As we wrap up day two, Truman Lake has lived up to its reputation as an amazing fishery. The top 10 leaderboard looks like this, with Pemberton and Newman in first, Gelati and Gelati in second, and Campbell and Stevens in third. Let's go to Matt Morgan and Sam Heaton for their closing thoughts. Matt, what an exciting way in What an exciting tournament. Fantastic. One one hundredth of a difference between first and second. Pemberton and Newman are Missouri guys. They're from Lake of the Ozarks area. Come over here, put one pole in hand. Not their forte. Mm -hmm. They like to dock shoot. But they put one pole in hand, jig fished for two solid days, won a brand new Ranger boat. I know Truman has been fantastic. The community in Clinton has been fantastic. But whatever you do, don't miss our next tournament at Grenada Lake in Mississippi, the home of the three pounders. Don't miss more ACT fishing action next week as the anglers square off on Grenada Lake, a fishery known nationwide for its amazing size and quality crappie. Last year, the weather wreaked havoc on the anglers with torrential downpours and storms. What will be in store for our teams this time? Join us for the final ACT qualifier of 2018 next time on the American Crappie Trail.